life. Um, it is the weekend, so thank goodness that um, the time is uh, ripe for a little bit of a home spa pampering of your skin. Uh, today, I will actually be doing a dual treatment again. Uh, if you watched my last video, you saw that for the very first time, I tried combining my, uh, my masks to be able to get a deeper clean, um, cleaning um, of all the dead skin and the, and the clogged pores and as well as moisturizing it with a face sheet mask in order to bring back some of that moisture back to really give it a really healthy look. Now on my last video, uh, when I did the dual treatment, I tried the bubble clay mask and I also did, I think it was an aloe sheet mask afterwards. And I have to say my skin felt wonderful. And I was just kind of like beating myself wondering why I had never thought about doing this before. You know, I kind of just uh, rotated or alternated my face mask and did one uh, every maybe four or five days. And now that I'm starting to get into the habit of doing these things on the weekends and where I can take a little bit more time, I can actually combine the mask and I noticed that um, since the last time that I did this uh, my my skin felt really really great so I thought that for this weekend I would do something a little bit different now I've been noticing that I've been getting some um, a little bit of clogged pores right on my nose and my chin and my forehead so I decided that today I am going to treat that area specifically now I've already washed my face um, this time I use a gentle cleanser, which is the Rice Cleanser. It smells beautiful. It's a great product. I actually have the toner as well. But the reason why I selected something um, that was light is because I'm going to I'm going to be doing a deeper cleansing or resurfacing. So I really shouldn't uh, be using the scrub at this point because uh, that would be a little bit too harsh on your skin when you're going to be doing additional um, steps to your to your face max ritual this weekend now what i'm going to be testing today is actually a few years ago i bought this um steamer solutions uh it's a dr dennis gross and I, I actually got it at the home shopping network and it was like 50 percent off i had a great great deal but what i realized is kind of was a little bit intimidating and i was like ah oh, it's too much of a hassle to take it out and put the parts together and whatnot and i think i only used it maybe two or three times, but uh, I moved recently and I happened to stumble across uh, this item and I thought, oh, let me go ahead and uh, see if, if I can incorporate this into my weekend um, ritual. Maybe not do it every weekend, but you know, adding it um, to my alternative or alternating method. So anyway, what I decided that I'm gonna be doing today is I'm going to be using the steamer to open up my pores because I want, I want to do an extraction mask. And for the extraction mask, I am doing this, um, which is the, um, I don't have my glasses right now, but you'll be able to see. And by the way, I will have the product links um, at the bottom of the show more uh, description in the, vid, in the YouTube video. So you can look up uh, what the products are there. But anyway, I'm planning on doing this black mask, blast mask, which is specifically to remove um, black heads and white heads as well. So I thought that um, I would use the steamer to open up the pores uh, so that then I can put on that mask and it'll be much easier for it to extract um, all the you know the clogged or, or the white heads and the black heads now uh, What I've done already I, I, I've already set up the equipment. It really wasn't that hard uh, There's only two pieces, you, you know the, this whole piece already comes together and then you just put the spout in there uh, You fill it up with water up to the cup has a little red line mark that tells you exactly how much to uh, water to use and then you connect it and then you let it sit around for about I don't know less than five minutes and once the steam starts coming out that's when it's actually ready and that uh, they say really to use the, the steam until the water runs out but i think that for today i'm probably just going to do it for about five ten minutes and i will show you the machine right now this is it this is the baby and as you can see there's already steam coming out of this thing oh i guess i shouldn't have moved it well, anyway, don't move it, but this is the machine. And uh, 
once I go ahead and open up my pores, I will come back and I'll be ready to apply um, the, the mask itself. So anyway, stay tuned. Oh, the steam is back since you're not allowed to move it once it starts, um, when it's in the steaming process. So anyway, as you can see, the steam is coming out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably sit right in front of it for about 10 minutes. And then after that, I'll come back and I'll go ahead and apply my mask. Anyway, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Hello and welcome back. Uh, I have completed my steaming process, which was to open up my pores. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply um, the blackhead, whitehead extraction mask. Now I brought my little mirror over here because I decided to do this video using natural light uh, versus being in a little bit of a darker room in my bathroom because the, the lighting is not the best there. Anyhow, so just bear with me while I go ahead and I put the mask. Now the trick about putting on this mask is that you it's very thick so you got to make sure that you don't over apply because then it takes forever to dry and um, what do you call it it's very hard to um, take it off afterwards so I typically start with my nose because this is where a lot of my blackheads oops see you have to be very careful how you where my blackheads are and you have to make sure, like I said, to put it as thin as possible, but with enough product that it can actually extract something. So then I move it over here because I noticed too that my pores here seem to be getting a little, um, what do you call it, bit of uh, whiteheads more than anything. And uh, like I said, I don't like that. And we gotta make sure that we extract that. Now, uh, I've seen some demos and uh, product uh, reviews about this particular mask and they were mixed, but I thought that I will give it a try. Um, it doesn't uh, have a nasty smell or anything. It's actually pretty nice. And uh, I don't know, some people only do it on their, their nose, their T-zone. But I decided that I was going to do it a little bit more, maybe not all over my face, but in the areas where I know that I need some help. Um, let's see. Now, this um, one of the things that I did um, read about this mask is that it can be a little painful to pull, you know, remove. That's why I am not going to put it everywhere. Like I said, I'm gonna put it where my problem areas are and we'll take it from there. Now I'm not gonna do the, the lip, the upper lip area because you know, that area tends to be really sensitive and I really don't want to mess with it right now until I know how painful this thing is going to be. Now I did test it out before, um, but I did not do it right. I actually put too much, so I ended up um, wiping some of it off, which took forever because it wouldn't, it wouldn't come up, it wouldn't pull up. But I mean, the result was still pretty good I was very happy. My skin felt really, um, what do you call it, clean and fresh. And uh, I did notice that the coloring of my skin was actually uh, very nice and healthy. It gave it a nice, healthy, um, what do you call it, look. But this time I want to be successful in actually pulling it off. Now, I don't have a lot of um, the white heads and the black heads they're not like all over my face like i said or my forehead so i'm really just going to stick to this area for the time being and uh i guess put it on the rest of my other cheek a little bit more now i have this little spatula thingy that um to apply this kind of masks but for this particular one it's just to um tricky because it's very very um sticky 
and and I think that that's why I ended up over applying it because I actually used a little uh, spatula um, brush that I have to apply mask which I normally use to apply my carbonated clay mask so um, but I, that's why I'm deciding to do it with my finger but you know this stuff it does take a while to come off if it doesn't pull off if you have to wash it off because it just doesn't seem to dry because you put it on too thick um, then it becomes a little problematic so the tip here is that when you're using your finger um, you make sure that you are applying it um, not only little by little like I did but you can go back and whatever area looks like it has a little bit too much you can try going ahead and smoothing it out so it spreads out a little bit um, I think that in this case I did a better application than I did uh, the first time I did this mask but um, I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna come out so we'll just see so now what I need to do is just uh, I guess relax for about an you know five ten minutes for this thing to dry and uh, hopefully keeping fingers crossed um, it's going to dry evenly and then I'm going to go ahead and try and pull it off and see now the way that you're supposed to take it off is um, from the bottom up so I will attempt to do that now when I did it the last time I was pulling right left and everything because like I said I have put too much uh, product and only certain areas were dry enough to pull out so I couldn't do the smooth transition <laughs> so I'm hoping that this time second time around is going to be better um, so anyway I'll be right back uh, in just a few minutes and uh, we'll take it off and see how my skin feels or looks okay so stay tuned and um, I'll be right back <music> 